Good evening and thank you for joining us for News 13 at 11. I'm Adriana Cotero. First at 11, the city of Myrtle Beach hosted an anti-hate and racial harassment discussion today with community le leaders and victims of a recent Horry County cross-burning incident. The incident happened over Thanksgiving weekend. News 13's Adriana Lawrence was at the event today and tells us what was discussed. The room was packed with community members who came out to listen to what victims Monica and Sean Williams had to say. They talked about what they went through and that there needs to be a South Carolina state hate crime law. The city of Myrtle Beach's Neighborhood Services Department hosted the event at the Historic Color School Museum and Education Center. Officials from FBI, SLED, local leaders, and law enforcement attended the event. South Carolina and Wyoming are the only two states in the country without a hate crime law. The bill is currently awaiting action from the full Senate. This will not be accepted behavior to terrorize people by burning a cross or whatever other hate crime, racist things that you want to do to someone. The Williams were celebrating Thanksgiving with their family at their home in Conway when their neighbors Alexis Hartnett and Warden Butler set a cross on fire, facing it towards the Williams' home and allegedly using racially abusive language towards them. You can see the smoke from the burning cross right here on your screen. The Williams were the main speakers and spoke about what happened, how it's affected them, and how concerned they are for the safety of their family. They mentioned how educating the youth at an early age is so important. This is something that's taught and this is something that's learned. This is kitchen table conversation. What am I talking about amongst my family, my, my, my children? Because they're only going to imitate what's going on at home. They said they want people to know racism should not be tolerated. They told community members to call on state legislators who voted against the hate crime bill and to urge them to pass it. They added anyone can speak up to state and local leaders and their voice matters. We're no different than a lot of people in this room. But we've been chosen for this moment. And whatever momentum that we could use to, to push this hate crime bill over the finish line, this is what we're going to do. Monica and Sean say they plan to keep advocating for a state hate crime bill and will continue discussing this topic with the community. In Myrtle Beach, Adrian Lawrence, News 13. Alexis.